Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. Welcome back, everyone. Well, I'll tell you something. It's personal. But uh, the more I know about BOCES, the more I really respect what they're doing. You know, part of that has to do with the course of courses that they offer and the way they interconnect with the community, engage the community. But, you know, you get to be my age, you realize how the changing face of education um, has really enabled BOCES to contribute even more than they did than when I was going through college and high school. And joining me today are two people very involved with what I'm talking about here. This is Na Nancy Stefano, And Nancy has this really interesting title, Director Instructional Programming. Welcome. Thank you. And a return guest, Tarina Parker, who is the Executive Principal for BOCES. Welcome back. Thank you. Very nice to have you here. Uh, BOCES, by the way, regional organization. So it takes in a bunch of counties. It's Warren, Washington, Saratoga, Essex, and Hamilton. Pretty big footprint. Mm -hmm. And anybody who knows these communities knows a very diversified population, right? Right. You're talking about Saratoga's population can be very different than Hamilton's population or, you know, Washington County, Warren County, right? Mm -hmm. And vice versa. So um, they, uh, the program that you've both been involved with uh, for many, many years was a program that helped Really, you could say students probably less fortunate than maybe some of us, mm -hmm. you know, that uh, for whatever reasons they have disabilities. And uh, recently, you've gone through a kind of a rebranding on this that I think is really, really exceptional. Aha! Good lead-in, right? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Tell me about it. So what we've done is we um, took a look at our programs and how we portray ourselves to the community and we really wanted to change the face of, of what we look like. Mm -hmm. And we'd been called Special and Alternative Education Division mm -hmm. and through a process of working with a number of stakeholders, um, we came up with a new name for our division and we call it the Exceptional Learners Division. Um, mm. Portraying the positive things that we do with students and empowering students through education to really be successful. Yeah, you know, and that, uh, hence the word exceptional. I love it when you get on the positive side of something like mm -hmm. that, right? Um, you know, Tarina, uh, what kind of disabilities? Let's, let's kind of establish that. Any different categories you might talk yeah, about? Yeah, we serve students with a wide range of disabilities. Uh, we have programs for students with autism. We serve students with emotional disabilities. We serve students with uh, learning disabilities, with uh, physical disabilities. Mm -hmm. So really a wide range. We're very diverse and really serve to meet the needs of each of our individual students. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of crossover there in, in yes. the terms of the needs, mm -hmm. uh, but there are also some very individual needs. Right. You know, if you talk about someone with autism, you know, uh, their inability to communicate, but the, they have the innate ability to communicate, requires a certain skill just to engage them, to find out how to get them to communicate. Someone with an emotional disability could be from any number of, unfortunately, not great situations either at home, they might be troublesome in a regular high school or grade school setting, right? right? They may mm -hmm. not communicate well with other students or vice versa. They might be troublemakers, you know? So that, that of course, has, brings its own set of circumstances, right? Mm -hmm. And then um, could be any different kind of learning disability. Mm -hmm. Now, you've been involved for approximately eight years, you were telling me, in this. Mm -hmm. um, how quickly can you sort of ascertain what kind of disability the student is either suffering from or, or is challenged with? Well, for the students that are referred to our program, they've already been um, evaluated at their home school district and then oh, they, they receive okay. the referral. Mm -hmm. um, and that diagnosis is already determined by the time they um, come to us. Mm -hmm. And then we just work on how is it best to educate that student? And that's what our teachers are really skilled at, boy, in identifying I, that. Boy, I bet they, they are. You know, uh, when we were talking before the interview, uh, I, I wrote a phrase down that I, that I think is just so specific to what you do. You know, they make the curriculum fit the student. Boy, that's a fresh approach, right? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it, it takes, it allows that student to be an individual. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I kind of go, go, to, go to that, right? Right. Um, 
Talk to me about that, you know? How do you help these students develop these skills? So for us, it's really all about empowering students yeah. uh, to recognize the ways that they learn best and to work within that. Uh, so for example, uh, we have a social skills program, a Boys Town Behavior Management Program, mm. uh, for that we use within our programs uh, to really teach students the social skills that they come to us lacking. Um, so whether a student needs to learn how to follow instructions, mm -hmm. how to ask for help, um, how to advocate for him or herself, um, how to accept help um, mm -hmm. from a teacher, just a wide range of skills that really we empower students by explicitly teaching them these skills. Um, so it's about working with each individual student, recognizing the ways in which they learn, and really developing a program to meet those needs and meet them where they are. Oh, hence uh, developing the curriculum based on the yeah. students' needs, mm -hmm. right? Uh, something you told me stuck in my head also, uh, Nance, the uh, math teacher who realized that the way to actually get that door open with a student was to talk about gardening. You know, mm -hmm. you know, there every person has that desire to learn, but not all people can learn on an equal pace, an equal basis, mm -hmm. or uh, in a one specified environment. So you really have to sort of create all that for the student. Uh, one other thing too, Nance, I didn't realize this. Uh, most of the time when we talk to people at BOCES or whatever, it's always higher education. It's always, you know, uh, going to learn a specific skill, maybe after high school. Grade school, that surprised me. What's going on there? Well, we have students that are in our elementary program at Sanford Street in Glens Falls. And these students are um, grades kindergarten through sixth grade. And we're teaching them the elementary curriculum that's appropriate for each grade level and how to read and how to write and mm -hmm. um, infusing in that the social skills that they need to be successful as well. And it's, it's a great program and it continues to grow. We actually expanded it again this year. Mm -hmm. um, we started with eight classrooms and over the past three years we've expanded. We have 14 classrooms now in that program. So it's, it's been a really good opportunity for students from the districts to participate. Great. Well, congratulations on rebranding, repositioning, and I think it's much more accurate description of the way you interface with, with students, because mm -hmm. you really are out to draw out their exceptionalism. Absolutely. You know, instead of focusing on what they can't do, it's what they can do. Um, you know, BOCES has a need too. Uh, they need teachers. Uh, you know, if you have the desire to try to help people, uh, you might want to check them out. You have job fairs and things, don't you? We're actually yeah. having a job fair tomorrow. Oh, you are? Oh, we okay. Are. Where? It will be at the Sanford Street Elementary oh, School in right Glens Right in Glens Falls. Falls, right off Glen Street. Right off of, yes, off of Glen Street, mm -hmm. in San, on Sanford Street. Mm -hmm. And it's from 10 to 2 tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And we're doing on-the-spot interviews for anyone interested in becoming a teaching assistant or a teacher's aide. Boy, you know what? That's something to do. I'm sure a lot of you out there are thinking, boy, I'd like to do something to help these students. Uh, this is a changing face of education, it's a practical education, but these students have exceptional needs and I think that that's really what, what we're after here. Um, and if you don't have that certificate of the state and you know all this other kind of stuff, you'll help them, right Tarina? We will. We provide a lot of support for our staff. Uh, the biggest thing for us is that we're looking for people who are passionate about education, passionate about working with children, mm -hmm. and we'll take it from there. Boy, you got it. Well, great. Thank you uh, for coming in. Very nice Thank to you. see you again. Very nice to Thank meet you. you. Nice to meet you. And, uh, Boy, keep up the good work. This is Thank really you. great Thank work you. for the community and for these individuals. Really, very, very cool. Thank you. All right. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.